Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I am a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now I mentioned in my last reaction video of System of a Down, I was familiar with their more mainstream stuff as honestly, they play a lot of it when you go to a concert. You, when you're getting ready to see the band you pay to go see, they kind of have a lot of System of a Down playing, a lot of classic songs, but I never fully uh, sat down and listened to this in its entirety and I've actually never seen the video. A lot of you guys wanted me to watch this nonetheless. You mentioned, maybe don't do reaction, do analysis, which I'm all here for. Uh, since their songs, their videos seem to have a deeper meaning and they seem to get really artsy and analytical with it. So I'm all for it and I'm ready to dissect it with you guys. Uh, but before I press play, if you do enjoy my content, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another video ever again. That being said, let's get started with System of a Down's Toxicity. Love that the face. Conversion software version seven point Looking at life through the eyes of a tire hub. Eating seeds is a pastime activity. The toxicity. City of our city Okay, okay, I, I thought I was going crazy. I saw him change into the white shirt. Uh, I, I wanted to point this out sooner, but I kind of wanted to let this kind of carry out before I jumped the gun and just start, you know, speaking out of my ass. But uh, obviously in the beginning, we're in the white room and they seem very playful. Um, you even see um, Serge kind of like, he even does like skipping and he's kind of like dancing around um, before that starts. And then his voice comes in and it sounds very monotone and just kind of like, you know, dead. You can even see their expressions kind of change. It's a little bit more zombified. And that's when he starts singing um, Conversion, uh, soft, some of the software version um, 7.0. Uh, I'm already like kind of seeing those parallels between the color. You know, we always hear things aren't always black and white, but he, I feel like they're taking that quite literal here in the white. It felt more pure, a little bit more energetic. And then here in the black, we're kind of converting into this kind of like dead version of ourselves. Don't know if it's alluding to um, Los Angeles is in the beginning. They were kind of panning out to um, Sunset, uh, the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the, you know, the, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that Hollywood is famous for its toxicity, but don't know if they were referring to that. Um, but what I thought was really interesting is in the second time they you see them, they're uh, shirtless and you see them projecting images of what it could have been L.A. or their hometown or maybe across the world. But I really thought I was going crazy and overanalyzing. Until Serge went into the black setting and he was wearing a white t-shirt. So I really feel like they're just so good. You know, that is something so simple. Uh, colors, something so, so simple, a projection upon your, you know, body. Uh, and it, it's already giving, you know, so much meaning. It really, really opens your eyes and you feel like they really get so damn poetic with their music videos. The most simplest thing, they can elevate it and really make you think. Um, but... I really thought I knew this song. I really thought I, I heard this so many times. And now that I'm listening to it like this, I feel like I've never heard it before. It's opening my eyes. And that just proves there's a huge difference between hearing and listening, paying attention and really, really just trying to absorb all this that they're giving you. But holy shit, I'm already invested and they're just masters at making videos. And now I got to watch all these other videos because I need an awakening like this. I went back a bit just so I, you know, I'm going to shut up. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Disorder! 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 More wood for their fires, loud neighbors, flesh. 
flashlight reveries caught in the headlights of a truck Eating seeds as a pastime activity The toxicity of our city, of our city Jesus, I feel like I feel like such an idiot for not honestly not appreciating this song for what it was. You know, I feel like it, there's a huge difference between hearing this in passing and being like, oh, that's a banger. You know, let's, you know, have a drink, whatever. People play it at karaoke all the time. You know, it, it's just it's just a very well-known song. Everyone and their mother has heard this song, but I feel like maybe not everyone and their mother has actually listened to this song and i feel like i i just a completely different song to me Com the song is just completely changed its meaning and in the best way possible because there is so much to unpack here there's so much i'm feeling there's so much i want to talk about and i want to talk your ear off about it so i i just want to dissect this so let's let's dissect this a little bit further this is definitely one thing that keeps me coming back to system of a down is how deep their stuff gets you know i i've heard this song before and i really feel like i didn't even understand it now that i'm watching the video and kind of really opening my ear and that's the problem i had is i heard it but i wasn't listening and i feel like that's what happens a lot is you hear something and you think it's a banger like oh yeah this is so cool i'm gonna you know punch my fist in the air and dance around and scream at this at a karaoke or something not fully realizing the context and the incredibly deep message that we're having. I do have the lyrics pulled here. Uh, I didn't read them beforehand, but I wanted to read them after because I wanted to kind of like see if what I thought was happening in the song kind of matched up with the actual lyrics. And it seems like I was kind of, you know, feeling the same message they were trying to portray. Um, at the beginning, obviously, we're getting the shot at Sunset Hollywood Boulevard. Um, been there many times, you know, the Walk of Fame and... I feel like a lot of times Hollywood is portrayed to be this glamorous place where people move to follow their dreams. They want to become artists, singers, actors, you know, make it and modeling, all of that fun stuff. But in reality, L.A., Hollywood, California is a shithole. And I've been living here for a while now. And I have come to realize that it's not all glamorous as it, you know, has been cracked out to be. I actually hate it. <laughs> I hate, I truly hate it here. I feel like it has bred this kind of uh, again, toxic, maybe that's alluding to the toxicity in the song title, this toxic mindset of, you know, getting force fed all of this, what you should be, you should fit this mold, you should dress like this, you should get this removed from your body, you should fix your face, you should inject this into yourself to become this perfect person. And you end up kind of being this robotic mold of a person that you once were this hollow shell of a person that is kind of toxic. Um, but maybe it wasn't just about LA and even though we got the shot of Hollywood Boulevard, we did see some in images projected onto um, their faces on the instruments of things that seemed like they were happening around the world. So maybe it was alluding to that in the beginning, but then we were also trying to get that bigger picture of the world is kind of a fucked up place and you should open your eyes to it. I mean, I've been open to it for a while, but I'm loving that they're using their, you know, enormous platform to speak on, you know, truth. And not just about, you know, stupid, superficial shit that really nobody cares about. Um, but 
I do have the lyrics and there's a couple of things that I wanted to pull apart and dissect a little bit further. This lyric in particular uh, made me think a lot the um, now somewhere between the sacred silence and sleep, somewhere between the sacred silence and sleep, disorder, disorder, disorder. And of course, you know, he carries on that third disorder and plays around with that and really enunciates the word, which kind of leads us to believe that that is something he is trying to really kind of shake you and make you realize like this is a sickness, you know, uh, sacred silence and sleep, you know, it, it seems like a lot of the times we are getting forced this, we are silent about it, we eat seeds as a pastime activity, you know, you see them, uh, they're all like playing and there's an audience and all of that, but you see them, you know, eating the seeds and kind of tossing them. And you can see they have a giant bowl or a little whatever it was, a dish where there was a fuck ton of seeds that it just kind of seems like, you know, a lot of the times people are kind of on autopilot and then they just do what they're told. And, you know, you live, you die, you have children, you hate a job, you die, you live, you get married, blah, blah, blah. You do the same cycle and we're all running into this cycle over and over again without changing it. And I feel like that is kind of like a, a, a symbol of, you know, when you're on a road trip, you, you know, you eat the seeds to pass the time and, you know, you're very careless. But that's kind of what I felt like we're kind of careless with our own life and we're forgetting how to live it because we are silent and we sleep and repeat and it's a disorder. Um, again, I could be overanalyzing everything, but, you know, this song really spoke to me and it's just so weird. You know, I've heard it so many times at concerts and I was getting so hyped for the show that I, you know, paid to go see waiting and, you know, the pits and getting all hot and sweaty, drinking a beer and I never realized what the song was actually trying to tell me until I watched it here with you guys. I really thought, oh, that song's a banger. And now I'm realizing, oh shit, this song is actually really opening to, you know, my eyes to the toxicity of our city, the toxicity of our, honestly, planet. Um, but yeah, ins insanely well done. And I know this isn't really normally a uh, type of video I do. It's not a reaction. It's more of an analysis type, but I'm so damn glad I did it because... I really feel like I needed to watch this and actually open my eyes because I'm guilty of hearing and not listening and I, I need to, you know, fix that. I need to, I need to be more careful and really dissect things and, and soak it in, especially things that I have heard already in the past. So interesting. Now I feel like I have to listen to every single thing I've listened to all over again. Um, but if you want to join me on that journey, let me know what other songs you would like me to hear. I will be doing Chop Suey very, very soon. Again, another song that I'm going to be deeply analyzing the video uh, since I haven't seen it, but I have heard it as well. If you are interested, uh, let me know in the comments and let me know what other System of a Down songs you would like me to hear. Um, but if you did enjoy this, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss another video ever again. I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Center Time. Love to get to know you, have ya. We do live reactions to community stuff. And honestly, we just like to talk a lot and hang out with the community. But other than that, videos every single day, so stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. And until next time, I'll see you very soon. Bye.